Me, I, I see and yours. <laughs> no, it's, um, from my standpoint, there's a lot of selfish, motivating factors here. Having gone to school there as an undergraduate, having played there, having coached there uh, for four years. I mean, I've, I've had a lot of great memories and a lot of great experiences there at Notre Dame. Eight years of my life have been in South Bend. And so um, for that standpoint, there's a lot of things from, from my own standpoint, selfishly, but this game isn't about Skip Holtz going to South Bend. This game is about South Florida, which has much more to gain than Skip Holtz does in, in this football game with where we are. I think when you look at it, it's one of the most storied programs in the country when you talk about Notre Dame, win-wise, tradition-wise, history-wise, against the youngest program in the BCS. And I mean, you start talking about they've been playing football 120 years, and we just celebrated our 100th win. So we are... We still have a long way to go. I had a, a guy give me some incredible facts that in 1956, when the university was founded, uh, Notre Dame had already won seven national championships. You know, and it kind of puts a little bit of perspective on it. So, as much as I'm looking forward to this game from an emotional standpoint and a personal standpoint, I think there's much bigger things involved in this game at the University of South Florida than this one's more about South Florida than this Skip Holtz going to South Bend. Well, how's the players? You're fine. How's the players? I think the players are excited about the opportunity. I just watching them through camp. I think I know any we were, jitters. When we, I'm sure there will be. I'm sure there'll be jitters when you walk into that stadium. And uh, you have first game jitters every year. I don't care if you played for three years. You get into that season, you haven't played for eight months. There's mm -hmm. jitters um, with what you're walking into. And having been at Notre Dame, there'll be that many more. But I think they'll I think they'll handle it well. I think the way they're working right now, the way to overcome those jitters is to go out and get it to where there's muscle memory, so to speak, where, mm -hmm. where you're conditioned to turn and go out there and play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And the way they're uh, approaching practice every day uh, gets me excited about the future of this football team and what can year we have. Hey, guys. As a coach, is there any danger in the all or nothing? It's Notre Dame, but there is the whole season it's, after that. Well, and that's why we have not approached it as an all or nothing. We have approached it. We are building for a season, for, for a 12 game season through the year. Notre Dame's one of them. And as I've said to the team, I'm more concerned with how we respond to what happens at Notre Dame than I am what we do at Notre Dame. If we win that one and lose the rest of them, I would not consider it a successful season. Just like if we were to go lose that one and win the rest of them, it could be a very successful season. Our our focus on the prize right now is the big leagues. That's the step we need to take as a football program. How nice is it to be in an event like this with your dad? That's, that's awesome. As a kickoff, kickoff dinner uh, for South Florida football and to have my father to come in here and to be here for it and have the opportunity to speak. It's always great to see him. Earlier today, he was over at Plant High School at my son's football practice, and then to have went to the house and had a chance to spend a little time together and then come here. It's always great to see him. So he's still in the show. You're your dad. He does. <laughs> I, I still understand my role when I'm next to my father. I still, under, I still understand that. Thank you all for Thanks, being Scott. here. I appreciate it.